Hi, Pascal. My name is Gina from Georgia. Gina from Georgia. What's on your mind? Speak on it. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for talking about so many subjects that I don't think I would have even heard about unless, you know, you had the passion to bring them up. Well, anytime. But, but I want to talk about my naivety. I think I've been so naive because, you know, when the thing happened with George Floyd and those cops got caught on tape and eventually got prosecuted, you know, I thought, here we go. Finally, you know, finally these cops are going to see that they can't get away with anything they want to. And now they're going to finally be checking themselves, you know? Right. But it's gotten worse. And I just have no words for it. You know, I, I mean, it's gotten so crazy, it's almost beyond words, you know? So, Gina, let me, let me say this really quick. Um, and it's okay uh, that, like, how you're feeling. But I, I do want to say this, though, too, all right? What we saw, okay. what we saw with George Floyd, the reason why you are seeing, like, it feels like it's gotten worse is because the veil has been stripped from your eyes. You have finally saw the truth. You have finally witnessed what really happens with police and civilians out here in these streets. When George Floyd, Problem, and all what that, you mean by the veil being ripped away is in that words, I'm actually seeing probably things that have been happening for decades and decades, but I'm just now seeing it. Bingo. That's exactly what it is. You know how, like, for example, let me just say this, and, I, and some people may disagree with me, and that's totally fine, but let me just say this really quick. You know how, like, if you drive like a, maybe you drive like a, this is so random, but say that you drive like a Toyota, a Toyota Corolla, okay? A force green Toyota Corolla, and you're driving this car around, and next thing you know, you see other either Toyota Corollas or for actual forest green Toyota Corollas, they seem to just pop out in front of you. Anytime you have that make a right. car, like you drive like a whatever you drive, right? Like what car do you drive, sweetheart? Uh, uh, Ford Explorer. Okay, so you drive that Ford Explorer. Now I understand that's a little bit more of a car that you see more often in the in the streets. But say that you have a white Ford Explorer. You're driving around and suddenly a lime green. Okay, a <laughs> lime green. Well, that's very yeah. unique. That's very very unique. But let's just say it's a white a white uh, uh, Ford Explorer. You're driving around. All of a sudden, okay. you go bang. I see them everywhere. I just see Ford Explorers everywhere. I feel what happened is you saw something and it you you got shook out of the matrix in a way. Okay, for lack of a better term. You got shook out of the system in a little bit. And you got you woke up a little bit. And I'm not calling you woke. I'm just saying you kind of opened up no, your you're eyes. Fine. You opened up your eyes a little bit and realized that there really is police brutality out here. And then all of a sudden, everywhere, not everywhere, but places that you turn, you, you start to see these stories pop up more and more. Maybe back in the day, those, those were stories that you kind of saw but didn't fully acknowledge. But now that you really fully acknowledge that police brutality is real and that what happened with George Floyd is such a travesty, you're now seeing the truth on how police can sometimes police out here in these streets. So you literally just got the veil, okay, stripped right from your eyes. And now you're actually seeing what a lot of us have been seeing for decades. Right. Can I ask you a question though? Shoot. Just, just because I want to know just out of curiosity. Yeah. I mean, has it gotten worse? I mean, when you're shooting amputees and. Okay. Let me see. I can't hear you. Oh, I haven't said. Oh, there you oh, I, yeah. I didn't say anything yet. I was waiting for you to finish. So, um, so I'll say this. Has it gotten worse? 
The severity of policing out here in these streets have always been the same. The only difference is now it is more in our face. We are seeing it in, on okay. people are capturing these things on camera. People are using their their phones. They're using GoPros. We're seeing them in in uh, uh, right. security cam footage, so on and so forth, to the point where we're seeing we're just seeing the truth now. Sometimes they are debunked to realize that okay, maybe that guy really did do what he did, and you know what what came to him, what, what happened to him was deserved was justified. And then there's other ones where, yeah, you know, uh, a, a man gets attacked in the middle of a, a street out of nowhere and loses his life three days later, like Tyree Nichols, right? So right. I think that now that technology is such a huge thing now and everyone has a camera and everyone's filming everything, Snapchatting, making IG stories, using them for live streaming or, or doing little uh, YouTube videos, it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to see it with your own two eyes now to have access to see those events rather than uh, just hearing that story, right? And then, you know what I mean? Okay. And showing proof positive now of the unjust that that uh, that basically was displayed. You see what I'm saying? Now it's not any hearsay. I do, anymore. I do. It's not street but talk. But one last question. Okay. And I'll let you go because I don't want to take up your time. Sure. But with the uh, um, amount of technology and cameras out there, and even the security cameras on the streets, like we've seen with Tyree, right? Um, why do you think the police aren't backing off, or their evilness isn't trying to be more discreet, or? They know they're being watched. They know it's being taped. Their lives are being um, shown. So why, what makes them so bold? Are they being covered or? Hmm. You know, it's a good question. And I think that's what majority of the world is still trying to figure out right now, Gina. We're all still trying to figure out why do all these cops believe that they are above the law? Why are they all walking out here? Not all of them, but why are a good portion of them running out here acting like they're Judge Dredd, where they're the jury, the, the jury, the judge, and the executioner? You want to know what it is? They're learning it from other cops. It's generational. These things are getting passed down. They're seeing how they can finesse them, their, their selves through the cracks of the law. And then, honestly, before... The, the, the cameras and the, the cell phones and all that that were just readily available at, at, at in your pockets, right, sitting in your pockets, it was all word of mouth. And if the cops said what happened, that was scripture. Now that these cameras are in our phones and on security cameras everywhere, we're now truly finally, finally seeing the truth. And again, that veil is lifting. It's gone now. And there's no way that right. these cops can run around doing this. And I think now, more than ever, they're starting to feel, they're starting to realize that more than ever right now. But they're still doing stupid things where they think they can get away with it, which is absolutely insane. Man, that's the only way to describe it. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, thank you. No problem, Gina. I appreciate you calling in, sweetheart. Seriously, thank you. I'm glad you called. All right. Thank you. Have All a right. good night. You too, sweetheart. All right. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.